uh, section 10 dash 3 uh, operations with radical expressions. Hey, get, put your seatbelts on because we're going for a ride. <laughs> yeah, it's on the camera. You want to come stand in front of the camera? No. Does, it, does anybody want to come be on YouTube? I volunteer. Go ahead, just go put your put your mug right there. No, I can't put mine already. I'll do it. Go ahead, David. Tell them that we're doing 10 3 operations with radical expressions. We're doing 10 dash. Hang on, hang on. Move to your left. We're doing section 10 3 <laughs> operations of radical expressions. Say, you the man. I'm the man. He, he is the man. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, we'll start you off with a tough one. Three square root uh, seven plus two square root of seven. I told you it was going to be difficult today. Anybody want to give me an answer? Uh, yes, Ms. Grell? Or not six, five square roots of seven. I had a heart attack. Good thing I had my seatbelt on. Five <laughs> square roots of seven. Nick Davidson, do I have to tell stories? Yes. Never. So did I tell you it's going to be easy? Yes. It's yes. Three square roots of five <laughs> plus two square, two square roots of 11 minus six square roots of five plus nine square roots of 11. See, I told you I bumped it up a little bit. Hayden, I, I have faith in you that you could do this problem for me. Um, It'll be your first time on YouTube in a PG-13 rated video. Um, He's nervous. Just a little. Um, three-fifth, or no, three the little hanger thingy. The hanger thingy, the square root, <laughs> the square root hanger thingy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. Root of eleven or five. Uh huh. With eleven square root of eleven. Negative three hanger of five, <laughs> and then eleven square roots of eleven. Yeah. Jojo, can it be this easy? Yeah. All right. Um. Four square roots of 54 plus two square roots of 24. That's it. That's it. We're done. They're, they're not like terms, right? There's a radical no. Oh, oh, oh. oh. David said there's a radical no, no. There's, there's, the, um, there's perfect squares in there. What perfect square is inside of 54? Nine. nine. So four times radical nine multiplied by the radical six plus two. And is there a perfect square inside of 24? Yeah. What is it? Four. Square root of four multiplied by the square root of six. I'm going to pick on Mr. Allen. Square root of nine. Three times four is twelve. So we have twelve square roots. Hanger thingy of six. Hanger thingy. Uh, square root of two, Connor. I'm sorry. Square root of four. Two, two times two. So four square root of six. Six. What's my final answer going to be, Miss Abigail? Um, Sixteen. 16 square roots of 6. So the first two I gave you, they had like radicals. They had like radicals. This one, they didn't have like radicals, but we broke it down to get like radicals. Jojo, is it something easy? Yeah. Yes? Good. I'd like to say yes. I'm going to give you guys a problem. 412, 6, 412, 648. 
Okay, please work on that, folks. Good, Martel Ledger. Good, 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 sir. Um, I do, but he's not in school today. Bang, bang. Hey, you need to drink some more water. Okay, buddy. Bye-bye. You gotta look it in. I, I didn't even look at it at all. I'm gonna slowly do it and try to catch up to you folks. Class, what is the square root of 4? Two. 2 times 4? 8. 8 square roots of 3. Class, square root of 16? 4 times 6? 24 square roots of 3. Class, what's 8 square root of 3 minus 24 square roots of 3? Minus or negative 16 square roots of 3. Questions? Did anybody, does anybody have any concerns regarding what just happened there? No. Okay, I'm going to give you one more problem. And I'm going to give you like about uh, four minutes to do it. Okay. Six square roots of 27 plus eight square roots of 12. And one more radical expression, two square roots of 75. What? There's three of them, not just two. Does You still do the same steps. You know how to pause this. I don't think this is going to be a good angle. Done, Sissy? Yes. Sir. Okay, what goes in this one in, in this one, dear? Um, nine and three. Nine and three. Sarah Barnes here and here? Four and three. Ms. Johnson here and here? Twenty-five and three. Okay, Brandon Miller, square nine? Three. Three times six? Eighteen. Square of three? Plus, square root of four, anybody? Two times eight? Sixteen. Square root of twenty-five? Five. Five times two? Ten. So now we have eighteen square root of three plus sixteen square root of three plus ten square root of three. How many total square roots of three do we have? Forty-four. How many? Forty-four. Forty-four. I thought you all said twenty-four. Easy. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you it's hard, but it's easy. Okay, one more simple uh, problem. Okay, so on the warm-up, we did a problem like this. We did a problem like this. Now we're going to do a problem like we just did on the warm-up. Okay? Um, three, two, two, six. Someone tell me, how would you go about doing this problem? 
Yes, ma'am. You multiply three times two because those are the coefficients. So what's your three times two, dear? Six. six. Go ahead. Then multiply three times six. Radical two. Multiply by the radical six. What's that going to give you, dear? Oh, We're done. So you bring a six down. Radical of four times radical of three. What's radical of four? Two. Two times six. Twelve square roots of three. I don't think 10-3 can be more easy than that. Um, now I'm going to give it to you in a distributive property. Um, I'm going to make it somewhat difficult. 5 square roots of 3 multiplied by the quantity of 3, 2, negative 1, 3. Okay. The first term, who wants to give it a shot for me? Thank you, Garrett Lebaski, for volunteering. Yeah. Five times three? Fifteen. Square root three times square root two? Uh, five, no, six. It is six. Mine it. Six minus. What coefficient is in front of the square root of three? One. One or negative one. So Garrett, what's five times negative one? Uh, negative five. And radical three times radical three. Be very careful here. It is. It is three. Good. So negative five times three. Why is it only three, class? Square root three times square root of three equals three. Yes. So the answer is going to be 15 square root of six minus 15. So uh, I don't believe they give it to you in a foil. They couldn't. Any questions regarding? Adding or subtracting radicals, we start real simple. We started out boom, boom. Then I made it like term, like term, like term, and like term. You uh, combine the like terms. Then I gave it to you with different radicands. You have to break it down to get the same radicand and then combine the like terms. Here again, different radicands. We broke it down, broke it down, combine the same radicals down into one. Again, here there's three different problems. Different radicand, different radicand, broke them down, broke them down, broke them down, combine like radicals to get one radical. Here, Multiply your coefficients, multiply your radicals, and then break down the radicand, multiply. Next one. Again, coefficient times coefficient, 15. Square root 3, multiply by square root 2, square root 6. Coefficient of 5 times coefficient of negative 1, negative 5. Radical 3, multiply by radical 3 is 3. Multiply these two, 15, square root 6, minus 15. Can we combine anything here? No. Question regarding all the above. On a scale of 1 to 10, Ms. Shamel, 1 being easy, 10 being difficult. A 1, I like your attitude, Faith. 1, Hunter. Henry? 1. Jeremy? 1. Connor? Ever just saying one because they're saying one. Someone say something different. Four. Four. Good. Okay, homework. Homework. 